Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Live a Thousand Lives. My name's Janaya. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you've been coming around for a while, thank you so much for joining me once again. Today I'm going to be going over my 12 days of readathon and my magical Harry Potter Christmas at Hogwarts readathon TBRs. Let's get into this video. For the 12 days of readathon, it goes from December 12th to December 23rd. So it is by uh, Emmy Rose Reads. Um, I will leave her channel down below um, along with all the information um, and the prompts will be down below as well. So there are eight prompts. Yeah, eight. And you have 12 days to read. So that's great. Starts Wednesday, um, which what I'm filming this is tomorrow. Um, but anyway, the first prompt is family dinner. Read a book that heavily focuses on family, blood, or found. So for this, I'm going with Saga Volume 4 because family is very, very big part of Saga. So I'm going with Saga Volume 4. Uh, number two is to so read a book with romance. Um, for this, I'm going with um, a my December uh, bag pick, uh, and that is Strings, A Love Story by Megan Edwards. Um, I'm not really sure what this is about. I know that there is some romance in it, um, so I'm excited to read it. It's not very long, 210 pages, so I'm hoping that I will be able to get through this fairly fast. Number three, winter break. Read a book about a place you want to visit. So this one is a little bit difficult. I have three different books I could read for this depending on how the readathon goes. My first choice is, and this is only if I finish what I'm currently reading, <laughs> is Fever Born by Karen Marie Moaning because it's set in Ireland and that is the place I want to go more than anything else. But this is a chunker of a book. It's 433 pages. Um, I could do it, maybe. Um, but anyway, so this is uh, book one that I would read. The next one would be So Glad to Meet You by Lisa Super. I did not get a chance to read this in Tis the Season-a-thon. Um, so this one is about a road trip through, I'm assuming through America. I don't know. It doesn't actually tell you where they go. So... Um, but I do want to take a road trip or go backpacking through Europe or whatever. So I figured this would count because I want to travel like that and visit many places. So, uh, that's the second one. The third one is Pines by Blake Crouch because this is in Idaho. Um, I loved the one time I've been to Idaho and I would love to go back someday. So I figured this would work. This is also a, um... December draw um, from the TBR bag. So there's that one. So I'm going to read one of those three for that prompt. <laughs> prompt number four, snowy day. Read a book with white on the cover. So for this, I'm going with Going Below the Water's Edge by Ronald S. Fahrenbach. Fahrenbach. Anyway, um, this I won on a Goodreads um, giveaway. But I also drew this out of my bag again. So um, this one is not very long at all. It's like 119 pages. So hoping I can knock that one out of the park real fast. Number five, stocking stuffers. Read a book that was gifted to you or that you got for free. For this, I'm going with Time Capsule by Lorene McDaniel. My brother got this for me, I can't remember if it was for Christmas or my birthday one year, back in, oh, I don't know, uh, I was in high school, so that's been quite a while ago, um, but this is also about a brother and sister, and so I'm gonna read this one, I 
I'm really excited to reread it. I haven't reread it in many years. Number six, naughty list. Read a book with a strong villain or anti-hero. So for this, I'm going with When My Heart Was Wicked by Trisha Sterling. This is about a girl who used to only use her powers for bad and has decided to change her mind and try to use her powers for good. Um, and so I feel like she's more of an anti-hero um, because she's she was raised bad, I guess. So I'm going to try this one for that. Number seven, hot cocoa and blankets. Read a book while drinking something hot. And for this, I'm going with Saga Volume 5 um, because it's a graphic novel and I can definitely read it while I drink something hot. And the last one is gift wrapping. Read the next book or the conclusion to a series. So I know this is going to seem weird, but I'm going to use Saga Volume 8 for this because the 12 Days of Christmas and the Magical Readathon overlap. Um, I'm using the other two in between five and eight for the magical readathon. So this will be the last prompt that I do for this one. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm using for that. These are the books that I am reading for the 12 days of readathon. Hopefully, hopefully I can get to all of these. We shall see for the magical readathon. Um, that goes from December 17th through December 26th. It's 10 days. Um, this was put on by G at the Book Roast. Um, I'll leave all of her information down below as well. First prompt is, or for me, there's a whole like, like path you can take and stuff. So I will definitely leave her, leave her announcement video down below as well. Um, because... I'm not going to go over every single prompt there is. I'm just going to do the ones I chose. Um, so the first prompt for everyone is finish your course work, which is finish your current read. Because I don't know what that is right now, I don't have a book for that yet. So I'm not going to do that one yet. Um, but I will be vlogging these so you will see what I choose when the time comes. Number two, I chose to help Hagrid decorate the tree. Um, I needed to read a book with golden detail. And for this, I'm going with the Christmas clock. It's got gold on the side, gold around. Um, so I'm going with the Christmas clock. Um, I'm not really sure what this is about, but it's tiny. Um, it is 172 pages. So there's that. Number three is visit the three broomsticks, which I think we all come back to this one. Um, so that is read a book you can finish in one day. For this, I'm going with Saga Volume 6 because I know I can finish this in a day. Um, the next one is to sneak to the kitchen and give a Dobby a gift of socks while reading a book with clothes on the cover. And for this, I'm going with Saga Volume 7. They're wearing clothes, so it works on the back there's even clothes so hey it works um the next one is put on your sweater from molly weasley this is the last one uh read a book with parents present so um for this i'm going with either either saga volume eight because i can use it for both or I'm going to try to read Dream Thieves because um, the main character, Blue, her mother is involved. So I'm thinking of trying to get this done. This is a hefty book as well, um, but I really want to read it. Like, I'm dying to read this. So um, it's 437 pages, so we'll see. Um, also, there are three other books that I want to try to read. Um, so I might try to see if I can squeeze them into the readathons. I don't know. Um, the first one is a cr actual Christmas book, and that is The Sugar Cookie Sweetheart Swap. This is three short stories um, about romance, basically. So we'll see if I can get that done. Um, the other one is... Daughter of a Burning City by Amanda Foodie. I really, really want to read this. 
Um, it is a big one as well. So I'm hoping to read this by the end of December. And then the last one is Between the Blade and the Heart by Amanda Hawking. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get to that one too. So those are the books that I'm going to read for each readathon, as well as books that I would like to read till the end of December. Um, so let me know if you're participating in either the 12 Days of Readathon or the Magical Christmas at Hogwarts Readathon, or if you're doing both. Let me know what you're reading in the comments below. Um, and remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when I post new videos. And remember guys, a reader lives a thousand lives and so can you. So keep on reading. Bye!